Hey guys, it's Stag here and today I'm going to be showing you the best Man of War class setup. Now this assault rifle is probably, I would say that it's my most used one, but that's only because when I end up in a sweaty lobby, if I'm trying to use another weapon and then all they're using is the Man of War and head glitching, if I bring out this class, this is the setup I use to beat those dirty head glitchers who are using this weapon or anything else. And if they're just camping, I'm just going to run around the corner and this weapon is a two or three shot kill every time. So for the attachments on this weapon, as you can see, I've gone for an ELO sight. The iron sight just feels a little bit too bouncy on the recoil when you're aiming at those head glitches or really long range kills. But the ELO sight gives you enough comfort and enough accuracy to take them down with ease. Now the other attachments I've got, I've got quick draw, so I can aim down sight, this is for running around as I'm not a camper with this weapon, and the grip is to help on those long range kills. Now probably the most essential attachment on this weapon is rapid fire. For some reason you're turning this weapon into an okay assault rifle to the best in the game with just this one attachment. Now if you use this weapon a lot, it honestly doesn't feel like that much of a difference when having rapid fire on, but the feel in when you're attacking someone close combat is insane. It's like turning it into the VMP. And it's just no wonder why so many people hate coming up against this gun. So now with the perks for this class, I've chose to leave the first perk blank. You don't really need them too much when running around with an assault rifle. Unless you're going to be in the close rooms, you may want to text sync sense, but I wouldn't recommend it as if you're running into a place where you know people are camping, you're basically giving them kills. So for the second perks, I've gone for fast hands. Combined with quick draw, it's absolutely lethal and the most overpowered combination to have on this game on pretty much every weapon. I've also gone for scavenger because I hate running out of weapon and I am sick of picking up other people's weapons when they've got a recon sight and an SMG. Always try and pick up another weapon when you see one just in case but scavenger alone should hopefully leave you with enough ammo to not have to worry about picking up another weapon. Now the third perk I've chosen on this class is awareness. You can swap this out for dead silence if you prefer. I don't. I actually don't have a preference between the two. I've got. I've got a headset, so if I use awareness, I can hear people coming. But also, when I'm running around the map, I can hear them when I'm chasing them behind. I know which ways they're going. But if I have dead silence, obviously, then they won't hear me chasing them. But between the last two perks, uh, dead silence and awareness, it's completely up to you. You can even swap it out for blast suppressor if you like that one. So now onto the score streaks. You can literally run whatever you want this weapon is that good you can stay low if you're in a team with UAV counter and hater or you can run a bit of a kill whore class for yourself and have the UAV talon and wraith like I normally run and if you want to go all out which I've tried a few times with this class setup and it is a lot easier than any other weapon to do you can just go straight for as many kills as you want and go for the wraps the GI unit and the mothership but definitely, if you're going to stick to a quick game like TD, then I would just go UAV, Talon and Wraith. Now this is one of my favourite classes to use when people are annoying me. So if you do try it, don't get upset with all the hate messages you get because there are some bitter and salty people after playing them with this weapon. But that's it for this class setup guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and also subscribe, I will be posting more videos soon. If there is a weapon you would like to see me do a class on, make sure you leave it down in the comments below and I'll get on it as quick as I can. But for now, I'm out.